Welcome everyone to another exciting edition of The Black Table, the ultimate men's guide. And tonight we're diving deep into a topic that as controversial as it is crucial. Standing up for your spouse, where do you draw the line? Well, I'm your host tonight and my name is Olamde. And trust me, we're not holding anything back tonight. It's all about respect, loyalty and keeping it real. Joining me at the table are some of the realest voices in the game and uh, of course i'm going to be introducing them one at a time starting with the gentleman on my left yes you all know him by the nickname rich uncle Woo! Yeah, maybe not. yes and, boss yeah we're and back. he never fails we're mm. back. yes always delivering well, on point the rich so every time Amen. i reach out to rich uncle i first need to ask if he's in the country just to be sure before we make something happen Okay, but as always, it's a pleasure to have you here. And of course, I'm going to be introducing the man sitting next to me on my right. Uh, I've known him for quite a long time. It's mm. someone who has been on TV, you know, uh, for over 40 years. Well, yes, like, the ah, man you're looking at. No be young boy. No be young boy. This guy was on um, Kitty Vision 101 yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. When we were aspiring see, to be on TV, I, I guarantee Mouse, you. the eighth wonder of the world, was on TV. What? <laughs> so are you saying he's like 65 or something? Now, old man, Sha. Just, yeah. Now, old man. Mouse, I'd love to see you. There's nothing better than owning your thing, man. Like the old man. If I'm going, fine wine. If I'm going to be Gary, I'll be old man. And of course, uh, the last but definitely not the least, uh, yes. the man that uh, he took me down memory lane this evening, talking mm -hmm. about how we met at the airport yeah. and years all of ago. that, and years ago, and then uh, Today, we go into some, we go into some, <laughs> we go into some shenanigans and all of that, and uh, <laughs> and you know, my life has not been the same ever since then. But you know, there's no words to describe him. We just call him. A man that is more than three in one, that they have to name him Gang. Yes. Gang, the mayor of Agungi. Welcome. Uh, uh, these are the kind of intros. <laughs> these are the kind of hosts that we want. <laughs> that know what to say about their guests. <laughs> straight straight hosts. Straight hosts that only deal with women <laughs> and men affairs. And oh, so I just, see. Just, God bless you. Lamine. You're loyal. <laughs> no, but, no, but, no, but, but guys, it's okay. Let him be now. It's Let okay. Him, now, him, after him. today, I'll never mention it. Okay, but thank okay. You that's for that enough. Intro. God bless yeah, you. Yeah, God bless you too, bro. Miles, 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 the mayor of Agungi. <laughs> All right, it's going to be. It's going to be. Yeah, it's, it's the yes. most faithful man in Lagos. Lagos. I didn't say faithful. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. So if he's the most faithful man. Wait, but if he's the most faithful man in Lagos, so that means if you go, go states. That's why I don't travel. Well, well, like okay, that. so you heard the gang Both doesn't travel for safety really reasons. That. But, you know, uh, before we dive into the uh, show itself, I'm just going to give a brief synopsis of uh, the main topic uh, for tonight. So we, we've all seen what's been going on on social media between Simi, um, of course, Simi's husband, Adikunle Gold, Sam Clef, and, of course, uh, Brimo, and, you know, the back and forth. And that gave birth to tonight's nice topic, like, you know, you know, when do you draw the line and when do you step in and, you know, take over uh, the narrative for your spouse? I, I've, I've done some pretty interesting stuff for my spouse, but, of course, um, you all have the opportunity to join in on the show. All you need to do is use the hashtag Black Table on TVC and, of course, go on our social media handle on Instagram. It's at uh, the black underscore table underscore okay it's long but it's at the black table you can find it on uh, instagram so check it out but before we get into the main show itself we we'll take a quick break when we return we dive into our first quick fire you always take the bill on the first date second date and third date bro code All right, welcome back. It is The Black Table, and tonight we're going to be talking about some interesting things that have happened, you know, so far in the week. And the first quick fire is something very interesting. What will you do to get fame? What will you do to get fame? I'm going to ask what you What will first. I do to get fame? Yes. I know you're famous already. I don't, I don't, I... 
on the concrete. I don't like fame. I cannot stand fame. I, I okay. don't, when I see fame come like this, I go this way. So I don't think I, w I don't think I want to do anything. Okay, let me ask Gang. Gang is quite famous too on radio, but just a quick question: What would you do to get fame? What would I do to get fame? Yeah. Here's the thing: I I don't want to be famous. Okay. I don't mm. want to be famous, so I wouldn't do anything to get fame. The things that I've done in my life so far for the little fame I've attained, it, that wasn't the the end goal. If I, didn't, I just did it because I loved it, and I just became you know superstar. Famous. Okay, so rich uncle. Money, fame. <laughs> give me money. What's fame? It's all about the money. Once you have money, fame will follow. It's standard. Everybody knows that. All movie. about the want, money. He doesn't want you to know it, but you will know it. Yeah. It okay. Give me money, fame will follow. Standard. Okay. So our first quick fire is about this TikToker who decided to try out something uh, by burying himself in the coffin okay, for 24 hours. Why? Now, if that that if that isn't crazy, I don't know what that is. But well, what 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 are your thoughts on that? I think it's I think it's straight up stupid. I I, I don't know what's wrong with people. Like yes, fame. Yeah, I want to be famous. Mm. Like uh, someone I saw I read someone's comment on that uh, post, and the person says you're already preparing yourself. Like the next thing now we go here, say so you don't buy. True, 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 true. Mm. Mm. Why would I want to bury myself? What 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 am I trying to prove to the world? Like oh, I can be under the ground for how many for 24 hours? Like what? Why? I think it's stupid though. Yeah. I mean, it's straight up stupid. I don't, okay. I, wait, is he going to make money in return? Is anybody going to bless him? I mean, you know, it's, it's a world of social media. And or maybe uh, coffin, uh, funeral coffin. homes. Mm -hmm. yeah. they'll, so, you know what, let's endorse this guy. <laughs> and him or something. Maybe. The guy who buried maybe himself. That was, yeah, maybe that's what he was trying to achieve, but I, mm -hmm. I don't see any sense of what he did. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, you said something that, to uh, me earlier when we were upstairs. Yeah, no, I think that, that that thing was so dumb. It was, it, <laughs> see, because... It, you are risking your life, number one, because anything could have gone wrong. When they were opening the coffin, I thought that were going to, you know, the guy was going to be dead or something. Then what happens then? What, what have you attained mm. by doing that if he had lost his life? Even, even his account, the, account, the TikTok account that had about 200K plus people, yeah. TikTok, TikTok brought it down, TikTok yeah. ended the account, they banned the account. So, so what's the point? Exactly. Even the so-called account you're trying to grow is it's gone. gone. So so Rich Uncle, you've been a bit quiet about this, but I don't understand. Because doesn't make sense. I don't understand what's going on again, though. Why? I, why? <laughs> I just I look, they look on his face like why? why? I, 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 because I, I, I think I, I thought I'd seen crazy things, but no, why? So, so what one, one of my one going? of my colleagues defined uh, what he did earlier today, and he said, you know what? If you uh, if he had chosen to bury himself for a cause, uh, something noble, something you know um, that is seven. Uh, maybe it's a protest of some sort or something that is probably going to create a change <laughs> or donations. No, no, I'm just saying, because we've had, we, there's change. this very popular YouTuber who's done it, but it's done it the right way. It's brought in, you know, all the right uh, um, things in place. So he buried that, himself? Yeah, he buried himself. And put so himself he's, he's not, the, the, this guy's not the first person to do it. He's not, of course he's not. He's not so the first there are many person stupid people in the world. <laughs> yeah, many there are many stupid people in the world. Stupidity is recycled. <laughs> I, need, I need you to know that. And improved. <laughs> but here's the thing, like, I, like you said, for a cause, there are different ways to do things. Yeah. You can go on a hunger strike, you can take a walk, you can hike, you can walk around the world. There's so many things you can do to be creative. But to just say that you're just going to dig a ground, put yourself in a wooden coffin for 24 hours, and then something could have happened to you, and you come out at the end of the day, mm. there's nothing attained, there's nothing achieved. You just sat down in a box for 24 hours. I stay home for 24 hours when I can. It's not a big deal. And I achieve a lot. <laughs> and I achieve, I achieve a lot. A lot. That. <laughs> I'm sure he was expecting a hero's welcome. Like when, when he opens that coffin, you just see people like, ah, I will. And nobody, yeah. crickets. Like, Unfortunately, like, everything kind of backfired. They didn't get the type of reception they was expecting. And uh, of course, a lot of Nigerians have loads of stuff to say about him. Well, I think we should just leave his story. I, want, I wanted right to now. say something, that, but that's it that's might it. encourage some stupid people. You know, it, it would have been easier for him to say he's going to go and spend the night in the morgue mm. or spend the night in the cemetery. Way better, bro. It, it would have been better. different and so easier. How is that different? And it's different. It's not different. Can you spend the night in the morgue? Why? Not everybody can. Exactly. That's why I'm saying. Cemetery. Why is it different? So I'm just trying to say, in that kind of situation, it's different because of, of the risk factor. You get me? What would the campaign it, that's be? Take your bar dead. <laughs> so there are, level, there are levels to this stupidity. That you can, that, so yeah. what, like he said, attach it to a cause, mm. and then it would make more sense. Anyways, um, we are glad that the guy is okay. He's come out are from we? the 
Yeah, it's okay. So I mean, he must be right, dead. Buried. Buried. Exactly gone. But, but dead, when, whenever buried. he chooses to pass away, most I don't know who's going to attend that funeral. They already have pictures. He's got family. I'm sure he's. he's but uh, well, I, I mean, generally, we wish him well, and he can try out some other stunts in the future so that we can tell him it's rubbish. All right, moving on. Uh, our next quick fire is something that uh, should interest you guys no this one is not going to be quick but because i i feel we, we really need to talk about this because of what the culture is currently and um, it's a video that was put out recently and there's this lady that talked about the fact that if you do hook up now in nigeria if you're caught you're going to be going to jail for two years now let us define hook up but because I'm not a specialist in Prison this, go food. <laughs> because I'm not a specialist in this, I'm going to ask the gentleman by the bar. But, <laughs> See, <laughs> feel the what, what, yeah. Can I, can <laughs> I, can can I be honest with you? When, when I saw that video, the first thing that came to my mind was BS. Okay. Now, I, I don't know what hookup means, but based on, because it's something I've never done. Okay. I had to put that out there real quick. Okay. Oh my gosh! But, People are screaming in my ears. <laughs> okay. But in, in all honesty, it, it, I, I kept on. I was telling you this earlier on this evening. I said it yeah, can't yeah. be true. It can't be real. Mm. Two years in jail because you hooked up with somebody to mm. do some hanky panky. I'm like, come on. We have. The, we we know the, the the homosexual stance that the government has. Go to jail and do this. Mm -hmm. But just for hooking up, then everybody's going to jail now. So, so, how, so how, how, how does I think we should define what this is. Please, what is what is the hookup? <laughs> Are you asking me? Let's ask. As the host, man. No, the host. No, no, back in my, what I used to think hookup was was a guy and a girl, or a guy and a guy just hanging out. Like, guy, let's hook up later. And let's <laughs> like, okay, when I joined, okay. when I joined, when I joined this uh, one of them dating apps mm. at, one, at one point, and <laughs> I got a match with someone, right? Yeah. And we got talking, and I was like, okay, cool, let's let's hook up now. Mm. And he was like, yeah, cool, we. Got to see us, and her body language just kept saying, "Like, guy, when are we, when are we leaving here? Because we are at the bar. Like, when are we leaving here? So, are we going to your house? I'm like, okay, I don't understand. No. It's, it's what, kind of defining yeah. it now. What, what are we going to do at my house? You say, but well, you said hook up. And I said, yeah, that's what we're doing. We are hooking up. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, no, that's not what okay. she meant. So please, I wasted that time. I should pay. I said, I have to give her, but okay, sorry, take your money and go. So mm -hmm. I don't know what the hook up you guys. Are, Thank you, know, you very okay, much. So for that. God bless you. Because I had that same thing. I was just, I was chatting with somebody and I was like, I said, we should hook up on Thursday. And she's like, excuse me. I said, let's hook up now. She also said, she doesn't like that word, that hook up. I was like, what? let's hook up. Let's link up. Let's see. He said, link up or hook up. I said, what's the, what's difference? the difference? Even the link up. Say, link so up say, the funny thing is that I'm old school. So hook up just meant, let's meet. Hang out. Let's yeah. hang out. And Chill. hang out. But and apparently. there's involved. Appa no, 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 no. Parts. Apparently okay, in this exactly. day and more than day. English. That's it. When you say hook up, hook up mm. means that there's some shagging going down. Boy and girl will meet. Boy will pay. Mm. Don't exactly. get it twisted. That's that's a simpler way to define that's, it. That's what hook up is yeah. now. It's not only the boys that pay. The ladies pay too. Don't really? Uh, they do. Of course. So yeah. so wow. please please. <laughs> they pay now. <laughs> no, so you've been wasting your. Oh, sorry. Jokes apart, I want to know <laughs> what hook up means now. No, but okay, so I now, now, now so um, uh, let me let me just lay hook out according to the video that was put out. Mm. Yeah. Boy and girl meet, they will have sex, somebody will pay for service rendered. Exactly. Simple. So, well, then, yeah. what, then what is prostitution? It is. Hey, so, it okay, is. so prostitution so is, is when you stand on the prostitution road. Prostitution is when you are standing on the road. Stand on the mm. road. Hook up is up. Mm. Like, you want to meet up with someone, and by the way, it's not really let's a Nigerian say, thing. Prostitution. Let's just say it's, it's not really a Nigerian thing. It's, it's, let's just say prostitution uh, evolving into. Uh, a bit more technology. Mobile phone you understand? Like so it's it very simple. You, just you join a dating you app or something. Just that's what, what you match so that's what, with people. That's what's now deemed illegal. Y yes, it's illegal no, because it's, technically still technically it's, it's still soliciting. It's still prostitution. It's still soliciting. But do you know? And please correct me. If but, I, but there's something I wanted to say. Correct me if I'm yeah. wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong because I've heard this a couple of times. Yeah. Okay. In the Nigerian constitution, there is no place that says prostitution is illegal. I really? Have to check that one out. You have, have to, to check it out. Please, somebody should let me know if I'm wrong. There's no place in the Nigerian constitution that says prostitution. So why do is... they? Why do they? Why do they keep rounding up all the girls on road? Why do the policemen um, keep arresting them? No, no. I think we're still practicing um, what the British. So there are do, certain cultural and... laws and norms that are being carried out on state levels, especially that that's hinder people oh, so basically they just mirror the culture do you it's understand? not really law they know that it's not really law, law per se that says you can't do this mm. you can't sell sex 
Okay. But it's so, happening because so, so right now city. I'm telling you, if I go out in a city like Lagos, I can I can name places right now. Because I'm the most faithful man in Lagos, I know where not to go Lagos, to. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many places I can name now that you will go and you will see prostitutes. If they are not arrested on a daily basis, how do you want to tell people that hooking up is going to give you two years? You know, the, the funny thing is, is and you, you spot on on that, there are certain areas in this part of Lagos that if you go there at uh, most uh, times at night, you will probably see these ladies yeah. and yeah. they're not picked Plum up. Way, but ladies of Easy Virtue. What, what, what are you area? asking me? Yes, you, you just... What area? Let me know. I'm the most faithful man in Nigeria. Oh, Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> Wahala. <laughs> Wahala. So I wouldn't know all those spots. But um, more seriously, yeah. In this spot, you That's see... <laughs> what the hell? What I, I have a store on that street. Be careful. I, street Fighter? No. Wahala. No. Ah, you no. never played Street Fighter? No. Be careful. No, don't say that. Don't no, say that. Enough. Savage Fire Bar is not, what, is not what it used to be anymore. Yeah, because I, I, I know what it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes when I'm driving home, I'm like, ah, I remember what this place is. It's, 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 like, confused. it's confused. I remember it's those like, days. Those days. 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 Uncle, stop. Now, Uncle, stop. Now, Daddy, now, now, Daddy is now, me. Daddy is me. So I'm not even lying. Back then, I was circled at Savage Fire Bar like three okay. times. We were like, ah, God, I bet. God, I bet. <laughs> Let me tell you how messed up it was. Let me tell you how messed up it was for me. I schooled around that area. Uh, lucky. So no doubt. You'll be on. seeing things. Thank God Christ was in our You'll lives at that things. time. And still is. Anyways, um, I'm just going to put it out there. Soliciting for and paying for sex is uh, a big deal everywhere around the world. It's mm. illegal except for uh, when you go to Holland. There are some countries where it's legal. In Holland, you know it's what? legal. No, you know what they say? It's the mm. oldest profession. Yeah, of course. And it's definitely. the oldest profession. But what, for about, a reason. what about ads? But, but my point, my point is, is, my point is, do you know how, how many ads are selling sex drugs? But, but right wait, wait, guys, guys, guys. Let's let's let's, let's nobody come back to the table. Nobody's anybody. Everyone, let's come back to the table. So, um, in in this definition of um, hook up, hook up, so to say, it's women being direct about you know getting paid for sexual favors, right? But if we actually simplify it, isn't that what's going on right now? Amongst the male gender and female gender. That's why I said everybody's yeah, going yeah. to jail. Like, let's let's really think about it. Because it, yeah, if I, it's I, a business I, I, transaction I get where you're from from. sort, there are many men and young women that are mm. in relationships that it's actually a business transaction. Because and the reason behind that, and I don't know if you guys would agree with me, it's because I, I don't want to say relationships or sex. Everything has been monetized. <laughs> if you want my time. You understand? You want my time, my pleasure, my company, it will cost you. And if you can afford it, it can be yours. That's what has happened in this day and age. That's why everybody's basically hooking up. When you tell a girl, I would like to see you, a girl says, what do you want to see me for? Can you afford to see me? And if the guy says, I can afford to see you, they end up hooking up. So everything has become transactional. That's why I said, at the end of the day, we are all going to be in this prison. So please, Jesus, hurry up and come back soon. <laughs> so that those that will burn will burn. We that we are going somewhere else. Let's know. Faithful. The faithful ones. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I had to look again. <laughs> Where true. do you think I'm going? Uh, up or down? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's wrong. Oh my god. Up or down. Up or down. Uh, you know there are some people yeah. if I go to heaven and I meet them there. I have to confirm for me never. You said if, no, when. Ah. Yes, not when. You said if. Now heaven we do so. <laughs> What's he doing here? That one. I know, you know. Yeah, yeah I, 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 somebody comes to mind, and I'll be shocked if I see him in heaven. Like, ah, who that? His name starts with M. <laughs> wow. I'm going to... Ah, 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 you see, that's not me. Ah. <laughs> I beg uh, you. Let us know now, M, sir. Anyways, <laughs> our next quick fire is... Um, um, I'm sure you guys will go like, not again, but it's just something we need to talk about. So, Coral BD okay. is in the news oh. again. Bye-bye. Again. Next. <laughs> Again. Next. I told you guys on this show that Next. this was a new season and we expected more episodes. Yes. Oh, so so tell us about this episode. So this latest edition of the Cora Obidi Circus. Keeping up with Cora Obidi. I love Cora, by the way. Wow, She's got yeah. great energy, you know. We know what you love yeah, about her, but just I love Cora. Yeah. Okay. She's, my, she's my girl. Cora is our girl. We love her. Anyways, um, our husband... Um, uh, how do I explain this? It's a bit complicated. So you all know about the situation between herself and her ex, yeah, and now you know um, they're currently in court trying to get 
uh, legal custody over their children. Now, the husband took it further by um, filing for a motion that doesn't allow Cora to use any likeness or images of our children on social media. And of course, she's come out online, you know, crying, asking for help, and all of that. How? So, the thing is this. It's simple. Should it's I, a very I help, simple can I help, thing, can yes. Can I help her? Okay, so it's like this. <clears throat> uh, Cora's ex-husband. No, still... I think I understand. I understand what <coughs> you're saying. He got a court order okay. in yes. the United States. that, and, and this is an order based on Meta and their platforms. Mm -hmm. yeah. That Cora cannot use their children, children. Yeah. on yeah. that yeah. platform for okay, any so form of publicity. Problem? Then what's the problem? So that, for me, for me, I'm like... What is no, the problem? No, no problem. These are kids. Yeah. These are basically infants, toddlers. Okay, so she came out to say what? So she came out to say, because the, the guy also made a video saying that he doesn't want his children, he left to him, his children will never be on social, social media, media. Yeah. Yeah. until they're adults. And oh. there's nothing wrong with that. No, what, I'm, you want to ask, what what, what's, what, what's, what's she complaining about? What's she complaining about? She so complaining about? she's complaining because she has certain platforms where, you know, women empowerment, things that involve motherhood mm, okay. and other things, where she comes online and she's with the children in her videos and she speaks about motherhood and other things and challenges. So apart from using her kids as anything against the husband, she also has areas whereby she makes a living through. That's why sometimes mm. her kids are with her on social media. Okay, so what does she want the public to do? Like, so what she came out to say, she wanted the public to help her get legal aid to help her fight, fight these, fight, fight wait, these the, battles. The, the battle. She not buy the wagon. I'll be, uh, she not buy Benz recently. Why is she looking for money? Well, I, I don't know what she's bought, but basically she came out to... I think she bought a house. The last time she I... She owns a house. She has, she, she has okay, a so house. Why is, she, why is she looking for money for a lawyer? That's <laughs> another <laughs> thing. It makes sense now. This is started there. When um, this guy complained, Justin, that's her ex-husband, yeah. complained that um, she saw, he saw a video of Cora and their first daughter twerking. Oh. That's what the whole matter started with. Like, mm. why is my daughter? The guy just started complaining. That, why is my daughter twerking on social media? Why yeah. are you making this child twerk? It is wrong. Like how, now, just, how, the, just how, the same way, just the same way Kanye stopped Kim from putting his kids on social. Media. Like, look, yeah. I don't want my kids out there. Exactly. I don't want all this. Excellent rubbish. example. Right? Do you understand? So That's stop it. Which I don't think there's anything wrong there's with it. Wrong with like, that. I, I think I think if um, we say this, I think we're speaking for all men. Uh, majority of men don't want our kids on social media, and Why for obvious reasons. Twerking, twerking. Uh, my daughter is nine. She, she what are you doing on social media? <laughs> even, even, even snap. Can I just use your phone to take Snapchat picture? No, don't. Mm. Don't take Snapchat picture. Yeah. Just stay. Play your your, no, your no, games. No, no. And so she's now coming to tell people that okay, please, I want Wait, to fight this kid. Six okay, so what case do you want to fight? Because <laughs> the kids belong to you and the uh, the husband now. It's not just yours. Exactly. Like, you so can't I, do what I, you I, want I, I feel I've, I've seen. Uh, she, in also feels, times, she also feels he might get full custody of the kids. That's, so I yes, think that's what, I, I think that's, that's what, she's what she's really afraid of. That's what she's scared because, of. Yeah. Um, currently, that uh, is really limiting. Um, okay, so but let's, okay, so let's, you know, let's get children. Yeah. So let's get this straight. So let's assume the guy gets full custody of the kids. Does that not give her the life she wants? She cannot be dancing anyhow. She wants nobody. Yeah, but you see, that's the thing that I try to tell most people that if you have children or a child by a woman, she would hold on to everything possible sure. to still have sure. authority and power over you. Yep. And that's what's going on. It's that simple. Well, it's also, simple. For, for me, I, okay, to be honest, as men, as fathers as well, we know that women basically get first say unconditionally mm -hmm. when it comes to certain offspring. Things, yeah. offspring. Yeah. Women basically get first say. I think Cora should just take a back seat and, and be calculative. Now, here's the thing. I'm not telling her the steps to do, but if I was in her shoes and I can't put my kids on... Now, the question is, what do you need your kids for on social Why? media? Why? Why do you need them on social media? To make but even if, it's for, even, even if it's for anything positive, here's the next thing. The court case was a meta case. So other platforms that are not under meta, Cora, you can still use those platforms. Mm. Now, also, it's on your page. If your kids show up on your sister's page, it's okay. So there are ways to go behind these things. There are other platforms. See, Cora, Cora's my girl. Cora, if you want me to use my page and my socials to put your kids on, I'll put them on. 
and Justin can't do anything. So you can be smart when it comes to these things. And not just go out telling people <laughs> that I'm begging you to give me money, so get me a let's lawyer. Let's so let's they're, they're, they're let's loopholes. Let's break it down. But, but wait, wait. Don't you let's think ethically, it ethically, there's something wrong let's break it using down to your the children, children That's to what I. That's, 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 that's the point I was trying to make. First of all, what, whatever you. cause it is, what is it about? Why are you bringing your kids on socials? If you don't need them, you can still do what you're doing. You can still push women empowerment. You can still push motherhood yeah. without putting your kids on. Now, your ex-husband doesn't want your kids on. It's justified. There is kids, too. Don't put them on socials. How does that hinder you from, from being making who you anything? Want to be. That yeah. means you are make peddling it, it, something it, that it, you know you shouldn't exactly. be peddling. Mm. Because if you have a problem with the fact that you cannot come and work with your daughter anymore, and you think <laughs> it's worth God. No, but that's what it is now. Uh, like, if you have a problem that, oh, I can't work on social media with my daughter anymore, so it's going to affect my ratings, it's going to affect my income, then something is genetically wrong with you that you don't think that your child should not even be twerking on social media. But like, 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 Miles, like Miles said, it's the socialist, uh, the socialite behavior with Kim and Kanye as well, that they needed to be cautious. So many no, so, celebrities... So Kim and Kanye, mm. I'm like... Okay, you have to say. But daughter twerking. Ah! So I, I, I think, I think, I think, I think in every part of the world right now, it's safe to say that um, there are certain things you don't allow kids to do on social media. Uh, you don't allow kids to do it, and then you don't enable kids yeah, you know, to do it do at it. the same time. You so being a parent, you camera like you being a parent, yeah, I'm <laughs> still trying to figure out <laughs> what the sense is. <laughs> Even <laughs> if the kid is not twerking, <laughs> in front of the camera or she's doing something else. The fact that this should fall under child labor or something. Because yeah, if you're but making then, money... Yeah, but at, at the same time, for me, it's, it's, it's very disappointing that in, in when these clashes happen between couples that have children they come out involved, on social media. The children are always used as a tool. Yeah. Yeah. That's the standard, children that's are always used as standard, a tool, no, as a back and forth here and there. Yeah. Now, what's happening in this, this season of uh, Cora and, the, and, hus and her there. husband is that the kids are now being the major focus. Mm -hmm. People are looking for custody. It's a back and forth. No, this one standard. is going to court. No, now. This one is using the law. So it's, it's sad to see this happen, mm -hmm. and I hope it doesn't affect the kids because it's the most important ones in all of this. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you guys... Live your life wherever it is. Do what you're doing on your platform. Don't involve your kids. Simple. Likewise. Marriages that don't have children, they just separate and go their separate ways. Damn. It's always yeah. easy. Yeah. And, you know, with all what you guys have said, I think this will be the perfect time to take a quick break. When we return, we focus on the main topic, you know, uh, which is very interesting. Standing up for your spouse and where do you draw the line? Like I mentioned earlier, we've seen what's happened on social media between, you know, uh, see me... Uh, husband, Adekunle Gold, uh, Brian Moore, and of course, um, um, Sam Clef. We'll take a quick break when we return. The Black Table continues. Always treat your bros the way you want to be treated. Bro code. Now, standing up for your spouse and where do you draw the line is what we're going to be talking about on today's topic. And um, today we're doing a bit uh, hmm. of family here and there. And um, this one is uh, something that it's a bit funny because the way it started out, you know, Sam Clef calling out Simi. Of course, Simi is uh, a top Nigerian artist here and she's been amazing. She's done... Uh, very well for herself. Uh, we of love you, Simi. <laughs> of course, Mad. she's married to uh, uh, the fantastic uh, Adi Kunle Gold, married. and you know they've they've had a very strong uh, union, and they've not been in the news for anything Le negative mm. ever up until you know this whole thing came up. And uh, she has this as, great song with Tiwa Savage. Keep going. Yeah. We happy Simi as well. No, we could keep going and you know keep saying stuff about all of them involved, including Brian and Sam Clef, but. I think the main crux of this is to talk about when do you stand up for your spouse? When is it enough? When do you say, uh, no, I can use myself for an example. I remember one day uh, I, you know, was just getting back from work and I was driving and I kept hearing some noises and all of that. So it was a bit strange. So I parked my car and got down immediately and I saw one of my neighbors, uh, he was like, standing right in front of my wife and you know he was really really physical and you know the guy like he wasn't he didn't touch her but 
you could see that he was creating that mm. that atmosphere like if you move further i'm going to do I'm, this I'm a... and guess what i lost it because i felt no man should threaten a woman physically so i went to the guy and i eat him straight up because i was like ah no 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 i can't this accept no, any no, no. other thing but you can't you know you know threaten my wife you can't do that and it really got really nasty so mm. for me there are certain things that i would never stand for no matter what, you can't come after any any member of my family you will see the pit bull in me mm. i'm going to Appreciate turn it around so mm. you know and that's please <laughs> can you share more of this sam clef story so i have a better understanding uh you know sam clef has um said certain things about simi not being grateful and you know how he had helped her in the past mm. and all of that and you know she didn't show any type of recognition, you know, and regarding him. And huh. most times I, t I say to people, I really like to shut things like this time. Meet. Like, do you, do you have any signed documents stating what the arrangement is or what mm. the relationship mm. is? If you don't have it, then there's really no, you know, conversation to be driven. Mm. So talking about spouses and partners and where you draw the line, I'm going to start by asking Rich Uncle, have you had any experiences oh, like, man, in that everybody nature? Everybody knows me. I know they fight. I don't like <laughs> trouble. God bless <laughs> you, my friend. <laughs> I know they fight. Mm. <laughs> my wife knows me. She... But what's the one thing you feel someone would do that would, you know, take you off? I know they fight. <laughs> and the reason why I know they fight is because I can't control my anger. Mm. So nobody, before you can push me to that point, mm. ah, oh my God. I... I know where I came from. I know what growing up was like. And I realized that all these things. I, I think I said it here before that I've seen somebody slap a conductor or punch a conductor and the guy dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I've yeah, seen things that. like that. Not just one, like several. So I've realized that everything can flip like this yeah. in five seconds. I just want to enjoy life. Yeah. My wife knows it's, it's okay, let's go. We're going. They, I have nothing to prove to anybody. You are shouting, it's okay, you are right. Let me, let me share a quick story with you guys. You are right. Very, this is very similar. This is a long time ago. And this was before I even got married to my wife. She took a, a cab over to my place. I don't know what happened, but there was this drama between her and the driver. And I came out fuming, almost, I'm sure the way Olamide came out. And they were exchanging words to an accident. And I, I called my wife as I said, hey, babe, don't say anything, or just go inside. Mm -hmm. And I was now confronted the guy, you must be mad. Mm -hmm. The guy stepped out of the car. And you know me, see me, I've not grown much. <laughs> what this guy stepped out. <laughs> Although because of how angry I was, I still had that energy. Because even when I was young in secondary school, I never, I never used to let myself be chanced. But at the end of the day, the guy apologized. But then he now told me that this is what happened that made him say this mm. and say that. And this is what she said to him. When he now left, and I went back and I told her, I said, babe, <laughs> don't go and be picking fights with people that will whoop my ass. Because <laughs> if this guy was to, if this guy had engaged me <laughs> and had used me to <laughs> clear the <laughs> I was like, don't, me don't put me in positions whereby... It's gonna, they, they can mess me up. Don't uh, give me. Bruce, your ego anymore. Like, Femi I can't fight. I don't fight. I can talk. I can shout. I can insult you. But that physical fight, please don't put Help me, me in that kind of situation. I okay. don't want to be there. Because what happens if I lose? Okay, so I'm gonna pass <laughs> the ball to you now. Right. What, what would you, you do? You don't necessarily have to be my wife or my partner. I will stand up for anybody. I'll stand up for any female who's being bullied, right? Mm. But I will ask questions before, before getting into that situation. Like, what exactly transpired? What happened? Because you see the mouth of a woman, eh, if you are not careful, mm. it, will, it, it will send you to hell, mm. right? Mm. It will just kill you. Their mouth will just kill you. And you just go like, oh, why would you do that? Blah, blah, blah. So just ask questions and definitely I'll stand up. I'll stand up. If you're a woman, no, you're my friend, you're my partner, you don't have to necessarily have to be my wife or my partner. And somebody is coming at you in that Come on, I, was, I will stand up for you. There's, not, there's no line to be drawn anyway, but just ask the right questions first. Before yeah. you go in charging, all guns blazing, ask the right questions. What happened? Just tell me exactly what happened. What did he say? What did, but if I get, maybe I get there and before I get in there, maybe the guy don't put hands on her. Mm -hmm. I won't ask questions at that point. Yeah, I will not ask yeah. any questions. That's, that's crossing go, the line. I will go straight in. I, yeah. I will ask the questions later. We'll talk about that later. Why did you touch her in the first place? Why, mm. you, why are you hitting exactly. her? Why exactly. are you touching her? Why are you hitting her? In, for Sam Clef, because I don't know why you're sweeping Sam Clef from my tongue. I'm not trying rock. to sweep it, but I mean, it's That man needs help. I'm going to say, <laughs> look, 
I've <laughs> said it at home. I've said it with my friends. Sam Cliff needs help. You're going on 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 on, on, inter on the internet on social media to say um, you made you discovered social person. Are you God? You you made her how? How did you meet her? You gave her the you gave her the talent. If you were so good or so fantastic a producer, you'd still be here. Yo, wow. you'd still be banging. You'd still be Shots turning fired. out hits back to back. Just like anytime <laughs> Don Jazzy steps into the studio right now, he will give you some fire tunes. Sam Up Cliff, I know they do. He go set camera for you. I know they do. No, but no, but what Mel Miles is saying is you understand. Like and and he he keeps saying, "Yeah, I'm a legend." What? Who is a legend? He calls himself a legend. What is a legend? If you have to call yourself a legend, why? Why? Who is? What? What? Who gave him the legendary status? Or you did one or two songs for who? Whiskey that who? And that's it. And makes you what? A legend. Eight song. No name. No name. Did he sing in it? Molo, no, 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 listen, listen, no, no, that's no, some no, singing. No, is it? Like, so no, what do you expect these people? Okay, so you, you, maybe you produced a song for Simi back in the days, and you expect her to do what? To keep kneeling down and worship your Ah, oh, almighty Sam Clef. And you, he went as far as saying, um, her, his, her, girl, her, her ex that time, her, her parents. Like, what is your problem? You have Simi's number, or you can just DM her, like, Madam, how far? You get one to be, why are you going to? And the guy comes up like, guy, stop talking about my wife this yeah, way. that's the right thing, yeah. Stop talking about my wife and you're, you're upset. You're saying, hey, now nah, I've got you talking. Oh, yeah. Well, so that's where people always miss it. If I was at Dekule I would have said nothing. Because that's what's obviously that that's was what he wanted. That's what he wanted. Yeah, no, but no, I think, no, no. I, I think, let me, let me, let me. I, I, I want to, wait, yeah. hold on. I want, I want to disagree with Femi. I wouldn't say, don't say nothing. Mm. Say but nothing. the platform you choose to say something, I won't keep quiet. I'll confront you. I, will, I can get your number. I can get your address. I will tell you, shut, don't, like Will Smith will say, keep my, my wife's name out, out of your mouth. mouth. I don't anybody, have to come on social media to say it. Anybody in this world, anybody in this life that is trying to pull you down is beneath you. Anybody mm. that mm. is trying to pull you down is definitely beneath you. Because they are trying to pull you so down. You, what you're saying is that we should just keep quiet. No, bro, I beg, no some, sometimes you need, you need no, to no, get, don't get, get back. back. My wife, don't, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. The thing is, he said what? What did Sam Clef say? What did he say? That he made her. No, no. We, what did he say the moment that the Kule Gold said something? He said, oh, her hair, the other don't come got you. I've got you talking. Because that was the intention all along. Exactly. See, me was just by the road. That was the intention. But, but like, in, in all fairness, let's, let's even take it out of the fact that this are... Uh, Celebrities and people were popular. Right. If I, I, I does Jay Z respond to anybody? No, no, no. Because no How one did. No one did. Okay. As in actual sense, he doesn't. Wait. Jay Z doesn't respond online, but he knows the actions he takes. Yes. There are legal. There are legal actions taken for you know statements like that. Why someone like a Dekunle Gold and someone like a Sam Clef is crawling at you, bro? Why? I will not. You will not so do you think do you think Adekunle Gold um, should have held back because Sam Clef was just no, no. looking for clout? A not standard yeah. Yoruba man would do what he did. Mm. A standard Yoruba man would do what he did, but really, I think should, I think I agree with Eric. He should have gone back and forth. Back and forth. After There's the no first need. response, like go. guy, okay, okay congratulations, okay. we don't we don't yeah. see you. That's all. Please move on with your life. That's all. Mm. He shouldn't have gone back off for that. Sam Clef replied. He replied it back. It's not necessary. See, that's that's the problem. Giving him relevance. I'm I'm old school. Now, see, my, my wife actually even schooled with Simi University. So the funny thing is that I'm old school that I don't need to come and, on social media and tell you one or two things. I will find you, and you will swallow your words. Well, it's not even words. It. You guys don't understand. Take I'll find it's you. I like clear, that. That's bro. some John Wick. Listen, listen. John Wick. <laughs> no, but, you know, yes, John Wick. Yes, it's funny thing. Yes, it's Sam um, Clef. Anybody can come on. So, see, social media allows people to be as foolish as they want to be. Yes. Mm. And the people on social media take that foolishness seriously. They take it a tad too so far. So, by the time you are done with him behind the scenes, he's the one that will come and say, Simi is the best artist he has ever worked with. Do you understand? There well, are ways you will treat a man that on his own he will regret what he said. Well, but no, but that, now, that you know, has, okay, here's the funny thing. If something, this is Niger, but if something was to happen to Sam Clef, I think it would be one of the first suspects because that's he said something. But wait, 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 wait. From what I understand now, if anything happens to Sam Clef, there are a list of people that will call so up. Sam because Clef is busy. He's busy going and, after and, everyone, and, and, and calling clearly, out names clearly and all of that. that's what he wants. Now, Sam Clef, if you're watching this, thank you for what you've done for Nigerian music in the past. Which, but is, your what, time, which is what exactly? But your time has passed. Hey, it's hey, that simple. Let it go. Let okay. it go, bro. Let it go. In, uh, your time has passed. <laughs> if your time has not passed, 
make another hit. Make music. Yeah. That's simple. Wow. Prove Put people wrong. Across, make, yeah. make music and, and keep quiet. That's quite. a challenge. I beg. They say make good music. Make another hit. Put it out there. You know, let the talking stop. Let's see what you're about. Uh, Simple. Or just stay in your condo and just keep quiet. <laughs> I saw one of his posts. He, he even was talking about the things he did for Wiz, he's, who he, he produced. For everybody. Do you he know how many producers thing. have done stuff? I'm like, come on. But I think at this point, this is when we need to start educating people about the music industry. Because there, there's so many people, yes. The music Sam business. Sam might be the person talking now, but there are many people, you know, underground doing the same thing, talking about, oh, how they did stuff for Miles. Oh, no, Miles is see, a fantastic rapper, by the listen, way. Listen, I, I can't, I can't <laughs> see. How they did stuff for I Miles. Can't, I, can't lie, and, I can't lie, Nigerian producers have suffered a great deal in terms of recognition, okay. in terms of their royalties, in terms of club publishing, what they get. I'm talking about producers that are produced for the, 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 the likes of Burner Boy, yeah. Wizkid, David, you name it. Even to producers today, they don't get their due credit. But that doesn't mean you become a troll. Do you understand? You start looking at things at 10 years ago and then call out people's wives. Yeah, so and that, that's what I'm saying. Because I feel when you're going into business with anyone, absolutely anyone, whether it's a family member, a friend, there has to be, you know. Do you know that how old these are? Pen to paper. No, no. There's got to be. There's got to be something. And I feel the reason why everyone now seems like, okay, you know what? Let me take a shot at this guy. Is because there's really nothing to prove. That. But we, Femi, we Femi said it all now. Mm. When you're beneath someone, that's when you reach up and try and drag the person try down. Because you're down there. Yeah, he's down there. Wow. He's, he's, down he's, he's, there. he's trying to he's 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 so If Sam Clef <laughs> was having a ball in his life right now, like if he was he busy, if he was he busy, doing he stuff, he won't have time for it. He won't have time. He won't have time. That's Don Jazzy ever done that. Do you know how many people that Don Jazzy has gone through for this? Don Jazzy. I'm not talking but, about people that are signed to his label. I, 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 I get what you're saying. But not to deviate, this, this whole story made me think of one question. Okay. In terms of protecting your spouse, how yeah. far would you go? Exactly. Would you commit a crime to protect your spouse? I get you, girl. I, I get you, girl. Would you commit a crime? <laughs> See, I get you, girl. Like the same way Olamide assaulted someone now. Which was a crime by that, you. That's, an, that's assault. Assault. You assaulted that guy because you hit him you, without you knowing threw, what was going on. You threw the first punch. Yeah. That was assault. Actually. If police came there, they would say, this is assault. Would you commit a crime? Oh, arrest me right now. Take me away and lock me up. <laughs> no, but, so, 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 I, I think, I think, I think it does, in, that, in that case, it does depend on what kind of dynamics you exactly. guys have. Exactly, the situation on. itself. So, and what kind of crime at the same time? What kind of dynamics? My wife, for example, knows. So there are things that you tell me that, ah, your wife said so, so and so. And I'll be like, sorry. I, would, I don't need to hear a side of the story. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you sorry because I know you want to end it's it within there. a... No, no. Mm -hmm. I know the range of things that she can see. <laughs> yeah. And there's some things you tell me. I'll be like, no, 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 no. What's the meaning of that? Hello? Is it true that? Yeah. And she, does, she has that same thing with me. So, and she also knows not to ever step out of that boundary because mm -hmm. I made her realize that, see, the best thing you can have in life is peace. Mm -hmm. Like, do you know how peaceful life can be when you just sleep and wake up? And, and guess, peace is so... It's priceless, it's, it's bro. Priceless, it's priceless. Like, priceless. Like, oh, it's rich men now. Rich men now. It's priceless. It means that you can't afford it. Let me give you an example. Okay. You park your car somewhere. You go to buy something. You come back. And somebody has bashed the car. There are two things you can do at that point. Only two things. You take it up with the person or you enter your car and drive and off. And just go. Yeah. Now, if you enter your car and drive off, maybe 20K or something will cost you. Mm. But if you decide to take it up, it costs you time, energy. energy. Your health. A, a lot of things that... And yeah. the ripple effect is ridiculous. Yeah. It's not what it's... Mm. Because that same 20K, somebody will message you on Instagram and say, their grandmother is dying, they need money, you will give them. Mm, so, yeah. their grandmother is on his day. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, no. Grandmother is fine. There is so, what, what are you doing? At the end of the day, what are okay, you doing? It's not funny, but it happens <laughs> no, but, online like, a lot. What are you so, doing? Yeah. Yeah. Think about just, If you think about things from that point, you're like, okay, it's not worth it. Like, just right. let it go. You let let so, it go. So, what you're saying is that no matter what, you'll be restrained and you're not going to react. I've re my reactions have almost destroyed my life so many times okay. that I've now realized that. If I don't destroy it, it will destroy me. So there's mm. no human alive that can get, get me that to that point. That reaction again. out of you. Like, worst case scenario, I would, I would remove myself from this situation. Because I've seen situations where I'm like, ah, 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 ah. Because of this. So I bought a car one time. 
car was that was my dream car. Car was less than two months old. I went to the hospital to see a friend of mine that was sick with another friend, and we were driving out in narrow streets, not express road, narrow streets where two cars could barely park beside each other. There was mad traffic. One guy came with one bus. I was making noise. He bashed the car in front of me. Trust. Bashed me. I was standing by the door. Bashed me. Cr the door crumbled around me. Wow. Like, he marked the car from fender to bumper. Let me just Ooh. put it that way. That car was three months old. I spent all my money on this car. And in that instance, I knew that I opened the bonnet, the boot of the car. I took out my wheel spanner. Wheel spanner. Car. And I went for the guy's head. I hit him. And he died. But while I was standing there, I knew that if I opened that boot, that's what was going to like, happen. Like, I saw it. I saw it, and I stood, and my friend was like, Oluwafemi, Oluwafemi. I said, and I was like this. Mm. And then he was like, are you in shock? I was like, no, I'm not in shock. But mm. I know that if I'm to react, mm. my hair go in. You'll be a murderer. Why, why, why? On okay. top of material things. Why? So that's, that's some serious maturity coming why? through there. It, no, it's because not maturity. It takes a lot. It came from experience. Like, I've been in situations where I lost it. Like, all my stupid things, oh. Can I ask you a question? Let me ask you a quick question now. In, this, in a situation where your wife is expecting you to stand up for her, maybe something really happened, somebody really got on her nerves, yeah. they, they got into it real hard, and she's looking at you like, tell me so, so I won't you say anything, won't you? Mm, yeah. how, how do you handle that so situation? For this. So one day we were, having, we were in the house, we were talking, and then she said, you know, every time uh, things happen, you're always like just very calm, and I'm like, ah, you don't react, you don't react. Yesterday I went out with your sister, and uh, went to eat or something, something, something. Then something happened. And the woman, I, I paid the woman. The woman said I had not paid her. If you see the way your sister got up, almost slapped the woman. That was when I saw that, oh. It's a family thing. It's a family. This is why this guy <laughs> does <laughs> not ever <laughs> let this party. She was like, it was then that I understood why you said that. Because she said, all of a sudden, she now started begging her that, he's okay, like, he's okay. I can pay the woman again. I was like, <clears throat> If you know what will kill you, stay away from it. It's Classic. I, I remember um, Chris Rock. Chris Rock said something in his comedy that he was with his girl, and I think one like one bodybuilder smacked his girl's ass and called her a bitch. Oh. And uh, and ah. then she now told him, "Aren't you going to do something?" That he just called me the b word, and he said, "Were you acting bitchy?" <laughs> so, in order to avoid that, sometimes. Sure. Sometimes we know our partners. We know the buttons that they can push. Things we let them get away with. Sometimes they feel they can do this with other men as well and be as disrespectful to other men. But sometimes you need to let your partner know and put them in check. Them in check Listen, yeah. you talk to men, you say these things, and I let it slide. If you do that with somebody else, I'll just look at you, get your ass kicked, and I'll just let you... Wow. I'll just pick you up and we go home. Voila. All right. Because you On can't that instigate note... a fight that you can't... Carry or cater yeah. for, and expect me to jump in. Bro, you know, on, in we can life. we can go on and on about this, but on that note, we'll take uh, a quick break. Uh, it's uh, still the black table. We have uh, social media comments to take right after the short break. All right, welcome back. I'm just going to dive right into taking the social media feedback, and then we'll go about some of the things that uh, have been talked about on social media. Atolabi says this low budget uduni. Should be locked up with all the guys that helped bury him. I do not know who this guy, low budget though, Udini. Guy, is. Oh, yeah. low budget Udini. I was thinking you were the Udini. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Okay. At Ganga says it's how people like to dare the creator. Mm, it's okay. I'm still talking about low low budget Udini. Yeah. At Fire says. Jailing people for hookup means the government should build more prisons because a lot of us are going to be there. A lot of us are going to be there. As in, can, can someone define hookup for me? I think um, Rich Mark Uncle defined that again, very clearly earlier. With transaction. Trans uh, transaction. And then, um, so some, at up, here, at up here, I think that's the pronunciation of the name here. What will happen to... What will happen to happen to Lege Miami? Ah! Uko is different from Uko. Wow. 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 Wow.
Send the, <laughs> cop. Eh? The, the, the next get. feedback we have here is at DU. He doesn't want his kids online. Kini problem? Question mark. Cora, is it too dramatic? I beg. Now that's talking about the Cora BD mm -hmm. um, situation. Then the next um, uh, Ando here says, Cora bought a house and a G wagon, but can't pay for an attorney. Bro, auntie. Bro, oh, if, if it be audio so, buying, you know, yeah. 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 no, but guys, guys, but you know, man, the lawyers are expensive. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. how did you work on a G wagon? Uh, lawyer, no. House is expensive. You, did you tell you how she bought it? You know, whether it's hook up. <laughs> ah. Wow. You know, whether it's hook up. Oh wow. my god, shot taken again. Wow. At Khalil, here it says, uh, you have to stand up for your family because if you don't, who will? That's talking about the main topic. Yeah. So, um, mm. Khalil, spot on there. Then we have Xavier Triple Zero. I agree with Mouse. Sanclef is doing too much. I Way beg. Too much, bro. His Way matter too much. shouldn't be swept under the rug as it's coming for these guys. They should enter him badly. That's another man's wife. Period. That's it. And do you know right. the funny thing? Lion's bigger John. producers than Sanclef that have done bigger hits in the past Massive. with bigger artists Massive. that are not saying nothing. With Sorry, bigger buddy. owners. I know what's happening. The guy is, I think the guy is still trying to produce something that we yes. never enter. Oh. He's trying to produce something that we never enter. I think we don't try okay. plenty. Okay. I'm sure okay. Just... okay, and finally, we have at Ola, Ola, De, Ola Adele. Apologies, Ola Adele. We all need to remember that Adekunle Gold and Simi are known to troll the trolls on X. They are a formidable force. Walai. Mm, the yeah. end. Well, good, I, they don't show the trolls. They just respond responsibly, savagely. They respond responsibly. Yeah, but that's trolling. Well, see, listen. I'm a firm believer that if you put your shit and take your shit to social media, whatever comes out of it, you're on your own. Mm. You chose to put it there. Whatever happens, happens. Whether it's the real, the truth, or the lies, it's social media. You should know what to expect. Outside that, yeah. All right, so well, Sam um, needs therapy, sir. Uh, Sam Clef, uh, it would be nice to no, hear some therapy. good music from you, and yeah. rather than all That's the talking. So the question is, who would want to work with him with all of this drama? People that no, can't. That there are some of... people who actually, there's some young cats that are like, ah, that he will be singing his praise, like, mm. you know me, I did a song for, let yeah. me do a song for you. And like, okay, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but Clef, at the same time, the I way think... the music business is right now, and the cost of producers and production, mm. everybody will seize the opportunity with somebody that yeah. even if he's been a has been or he has worked yeah. with greats, they'll seize yeah. that opportunity, especially if he's not charging that much or he's just trying to make he it. He can't charge that much. Why, why, why would he charge that much? <laughs> All right. Thank, you, Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. much. As usual, we have a cultural tradition that we do here every edition, and that tradition is called Just a Tip. Mm. And uh, just today, a tip. Just a Tip is Just a Tip. Uh, today, we'll be taking Just a Tip from my dear friend here, Miles, mm. the eighth wonder of... Um, of the Kitty Vision world. <laughs> of the world. <laughs> Eight wonder of the world. Hey, what's the tip for today? What yes. would I be saying today? Okay, let me just put this out there. It's really hard out there and everybody's it's struggling. It's hard, it is. It's, it's, everyone is <laughs> hustling and everybody's struggling right there. You are doing just fine. Don't, don't run after anybody's shadow. Do you Fast stay in your lane? Fast. Don't sound gradually. Clefits. Don't, Sam don't Sam Clef, right. they said that, <laughs> and you definitely get there. Don't, don't just, just calm down and go. Put a foot in front of the other, and you get there, and you'll be fine. That's about it. Don't Sam Clef it. You don't need your kids to be famous. What else? Don't bury yourself. Don't bury yourself. No, no, that's not what else. That's most important. Most important. You, you can bury your bury problems yourself. though. Stay, stay above yourself. ground for as long stay as you can. Stay your lane. Because you can lane. bury yourself and you come out there with unbanned your account. I'm telling you. I'm Chat. telling you. But you know what? That, that can go pay that guy. Thank you. See, Macabre won't build you. Thank you, guys. Come on. I know it's always funny, <laughs> man. It's always, um, you know, surprising and shocking how fast time runs yes, when sir. we're doing this. But before I go, I want to give a big shout out to um, No Limit Stitches for this, uh, you know, cute looking. Uh, <laughs> Can I give a shout out? On. Uh, and then, um, of course, there's <laughs> Rich Uncle in the house. Do you want to give a shout out? I want to give a shout out to the guy that you know. <laughs> Can I give a shout out? Oh, yeah, 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 sure, yes. definitely. Now we rich uncle. My uncle now is rich. Now, now we rich uncle. Now we didn't run out.
Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, should, I, should, I should get, yo, I should get that Swain, 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 no, like that Arnold Schwarzenegger and name. Danny DeVito. Mm. <laughs> no, but do you know that movie was such a classic movie? Yeah, that, it was. Which they were, did I remember? And I was like, ah, they don't make movies like that. Exactly, anymore. they don't. You know, they during don't. the Academy Awards, they both came out to present a movie together. So yeah. it was quite interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been such an exciting edition of the show. We have to go now. Like I say, the brighter the stars, the darker the night. Oh, the darker the night, the brighter the stars. Well, I don't know You're drunk, going that's what it is. <laughs> okay. Shut down have the camera. I have some gist. I almost cheated in Lagos. Let me give you guys that story. Wow. Whoa. With that body. Cut, cut. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. Cut so, now. Hurry up and cut. Oh, that cut so now. what happened was, these so girls... So the guy never cut. We're done. The show is over. <laughs> show so, is thank God. I, I've, I've seen, red I'm red still faithful. Hold on. Red bots in All right, guys. It was just joking. We're giving them the end of the It's time to go. Cuts. Have a good night and have a wonderful weekend. They still never cut. <laughs> They'll cut. So like I was saying.